Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's video, we're taking a look at the M14 BER. So this is a 4D gun model. It's a one to six scale. It comes out of a pack of eight. I'm gonna have a quick look over the box. Okay, so, the United States Navy Mark 14 Enhanced Battle Rifle, so that's what the EBR stands for, is an American Selective Fire Military Designed Designated Marksman Rifle, chambered for the 7.62 by 5.1mm NATO cartridge. It is a variant of the M14 Battle Rifle and was originally built for use within with United with units of the United States Special Operations Command, such as the United States Navy SEALs, Delta Force, and Task Pacific ODA units. The, EB, the, EBRS, EBRSs are, the EBRs are made with the intention of carrying out both designated marksmen and CQB close quarter battle roles in combat. Since 2010, the US Army has made available two M14 EBR RI rifles per infantry platoon for units deploying to Afghanistan. So it's mentioned that it's EBR, but then here it's BER. I think this is just a typo, because I'm pretty sure it's the M14 EBR, and they mentioned here as EBR, Enhanced Battle Rifle. Well, um, Anyway, we'll read out the specs. So the type, battle rifle, designated marksman rifle. So it's pretty much a sniper rifle. It's, the cartridge is 7.62 by 5.1 millimeter NATO. Weight, 11.24 11 pounds, 5.1 kilograms. Length, 35 inches, 889 millimeters. Barrel length, 18 inches, 457 millimeters. Only 5.1 kilos, that is, that's, that's pretty light for a sniper rifle. Rate of fire, it says shooter dependent. Muzzle velocity, 853 meters per second, 2,800 feet per second. Action, gas operated rotating bolt, so semi-automatic. Sights, modified M14 iron sights, normally used with a magnifying scope. Now, this was one of my favorite rifles in one of the Call of Duties. I just loved it because it was semi-automatic and all the other guns, it was like one of the only guns that was semi-automatic. And I just, it was nicer to have a semi-automatic gun because it was kind of more challenging compared to all the rifles. Now that was my little, yeah, little exposure to an M14 EBR. I actually, have, I've ne never seen one in real life. I mean, that'd be cool, but yeah, that's all I can really say. Anyway, let's go ahead and take it out of the packaging. Alrighty, so we've got the instructions there. Oh, by the way, comment down below what you're thinking about. Comment down below what you think about this BER. Is it EBR or BER? Okay, so I'll put the instructions aside. There's a stand, it's got MK14, Mark 14, and here is the, well, the ingredients, so to speak. Here are all the parts that we're gonna to use to put it together. So I'm gonna get straight into the build.
Alrighty guys, that took longer than I thought. I had a lot of trouble with the um, slide bit. Oh yes, it's working, nice. Okay, so let's take a look. Oh, it did have a little platform here, of course. I think, yeah, so this is the, the finished product. So you can see there it says Mark 14. So that's what it looks like on the stand. So you can sit it down like that, of course. Now let's go over this little guy. So I've got the barrel at the front, the muzzle, the front iron sight. There's a Picatinny rail here on top. So you can see there. This little piece, I'm not sure what that's for. I don't know if that's for a bandolier or like a sling, but that's a little piece that was added on. Another Picatinny rail, Picatinny rail on the other side as well. Um, some sort of foregrip that you can hold on to. The guy's holding onto it here in the box. You can see he's got a grip of it just there. He's holding the front grip, the uh, foregrip. Um, the magazine here, which is removable, so there's two moving parts on the blaster. That's the magazine and the slide, which I'll show you in a second. So that just goes in there like so. Then we have a um, rear iron sight, I think. I think that's supposed to be something you can adjust. Trigger guard, trigger, the handle. And the stock here are oh, there's three moving parts because the the rear stock can also be um, slided, slidden. Oh, what's the right word there? You can slide the um, stock forward and back. So that's that's a cool little feature. And once we clear the bolt on the other side, you'll see here. Pull this back. Oh, is it picking it up? We need more light. But there is, you can see, well, you should be able to see, but there is the first bullet on top of the magazine which is viewed through that sliding door there it is right down there so the other side which is where that bolt is just moves like that then of course the stock cheek rest and the shoulder rest or the butt of the gun so that's pretty much the M14 EBR very cool rifle I like it so much detail on the model anyway guys that completes this review today I'll see you in the next video